Okay, so we are going to continue our conversation about digestion. Last week, if you were able to join us, and I hope that you did, we talked about digesting our food and turning that food into energy. And today we are going to be talking about digestion function for the mind. So it starts in the mind. Let's get into this. I love when you talk about digestion for the mind because it just uh, it's just so empowering and enlightening and you know makes me feel motivated to start a change within myself. Well, digestion, physical digestion mirrors the digestion in our mind. And what do I mean by that? Well, think about it. We take food in. With our mind, we take in sensory impressions, colors, sounds, movies, anything that's in our environment, we take it in. The senses are employed by the mind to bring information into the system. And that's the way when we eat food, we bring it in. And then we have to identify, is this something we want to keep or not? And that's where our ego comes in, our ahamkara. Mm -hmm. So if our ego identifies with everything, we're going to be taking a lot in rather than just <laughs> letting things pass, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> so it's the same with food. And then we have, what are we going to do? What's the intelligence of this? So the aspect of our mind that's very intelligent we call it the booty, the light part of our mind. That's the radiance, that mm -hmm. intuitive understanding where we're not identifying, we're not separating ourselves and say, look what he or she is doing. We're able to see beyond that. Then we're able to assimilate and decide what is useful and what is not. And then we eliminate if we're healthy, what we don't <laughs> need. And there's memory storage. We do have a big storage compartment, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> a lot of us store yeah. memories because oh, yes. everything's recorded, right? Mm -hmm. And so a healthier digestion for the mind is being able to overlook or eliminate things that we don't need. Mm -hmm. Like those thoughts that keep playing over and over again. Like, I'll give you an example that most people, what did she mean by that? Or what did he <laughs> mean by that? That story that keeps going over and over. Mm -hmm. When you learn, and I teach this, that's why we teach meditation or teach the tools for meditation. Because when you start to stand back and look at that process of the functions of mind, then uh, I did this in a resilience training that we have actually I have a resilience course training where I talk about the four functions of mind that I just discussed with you. Mm -hmm. We're able to stand back and we're able to say, wait a minute, that's a thought from the outside. So who's the one doing the looking at what the thought is? That's where that's that light part that I talk about. You're able to step back and say, wait a minute, it doesn't matter what somebody thinks or not thinks. Because you're so, remember I talked about stability and mm -hmm. self-trust. When we have that, it's really strong. We know we've done our best. And it really doesn't matter what people are thinking or how they're judging us or not mm -hmm. judging us. And that's where you know, people talk all the time, have compassion. Can you teach me how to have compassion? You could only have compassion when you learn how to digest food and digest your thoughts. Mm -hmm. We always want to stop. We always want to step to the higher realm of kindness and compassion. Yes, it's all wonderful to have, but we have to have a way to access that and not suppress all the things and try to get into that. In mm -hmm. other words, try to be something that we're not feeling. We need to allow ourselves to come to that place because it's natural within all of us. Kindness, love, compassion. It's all the other stuff that gets in the way. So when we yes. learn how to digest, <laughs> You're right. we could eliminate what we don't need. Mm -hmm. And it's the same with food. If you eat something that's not that good, let's say, for example, it's if your digestion is really in a really good, optimal way, you'll mm -hmm. eliminate that. But if your digestion is weak, you're going to have indigestion. You know, you'll have all sorts of things that come, maybe a little burning gas, whatever. Yes. That indigestion is what's going to affect you. It's the same with an indig undigested thought. Mm -hmm. It'll cause, we know, when laying awake at night, worrying about work, worrying about if you're going to keep your job, worrying about who might be having more fun on Facebook. Why, why, <laughs> why, oh my why is yeah. my life not as happy and, you know, running around? And, you know, I saw a comedian, I heard a comedian once say, that uh, he calls selfies lonelies. 
He says, who has time to be doing <laughs> selfies? You know, who has time to say, hey, everybody, look yeah. at me. So somebody sees that. Wow, everybody's having fun. And he, yeah. he was so funny. He called it lonelies. Mm -hmm. And uh, I just laughed because I love that. <laughs> it's not like, what yeah. are we doing? Yeah. Really? What are we doing as a mm -hmm. human being? We're given this privilege to be a human being mm -hmm. and what are we doing with it? Yes. So let's learn to digest physically and digest mentally. And yes. we can do that if we set our stages, set our priorities of where we need to be. Mm -hmm. And I'm excited. I'm yes. excited that people are interested in this. Because yeah. a lot of these questions that you're talking about are things that came in from our audience. Absolutely. So, yes. Yeah, this is so, stuff our community wants to know. They want to know, is it possible to you know, achieve this? And it is. And yes, it might take some time, some energy once you learn how to hone in that energy, uh, but it is achievable. Yeah. And thanks yeah. to the community and thanks to you for taking in the questions and then bringing them to me yeah. that we could actually work them and talk about them together. Mm -hmm. That's, that's a mm -hmm. wonderful, that's a community. Yes. And we could all digest things together mm -hmm. <laughs> as our own experience, <laughs> yeah. you know, so that's, I'm pretty excited about that. Right. It's a beautiful thing. So, and again, I just want to thank all of our community mem members for being such contributors for active listeners and, you know, delving into, you know, these topics and asking these questions, because I hope that it will help more people, um, you know, just more excited about getting this book and joining this conversation.